But then we have a couple other protocols here, POP3 and IMAP4. And these are used to retrieve email. Okay, so this is more for a client to retrieve email off of a server. POP3 is a version, which you'll notice here it says, can only be used for the inbox folder. And it uses TCP port 110. Whereas IMAP4 can also use various messaging folders, not just the inbox. And you also don't have a local repository. You still keep the email out on the server. But with IMAP4, you use TCP port 143. Now, if you've ever set up an email client like Outlook to communicate with you know, your, your favorite email server that you use, right? whether it be with your uh, maybe your cable company or whoever, when you configured Outlook to work with them, you may actually recognize ports 110, 143, and then going back to SMTP, port 25. You also may be familiar with the SSL version of those ports. Uh, SMTP, I believe, is 587. POP3 is 995. And this is where you're going to really challenge me. I'm at 4. <laughs> don't hold me to it. I think it's 993. You don't actually have to know those. Okay, I'm kind of throwing them out there as trivial information. Um, yes, you may need to know them in certain scenarios out in the real world, but you can always go look it up. Like if I had to know right now, I could look it up. For the A-plus exam, they're not going to hit you that heavy with these ports. This is not a networking exam, but they will hit you with the occasional networking question. And so they're not worried about the secure ports, just the basic ports. SMTP is 25, POP3 is 110, and IMAP4 is 143.